The Ghana Black Meteors have arrived in Rabat, Morocco. They will kick off the AFCON Under-23 tournament versus Congo. We look at the team that has made their journey into Rabat, Morocco. We also look at the save of for goalkeeper Jordan Emisa. He was in post for their final friendly versus Zamalek, and he pulled out an outstanding penalty save. We'll have a look at that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. So the Ghana Black Meteors, the under 23 side, are looking to get into the Olympic Games 2024 in Paris. I misspoke in my last video saying it's Tokyo. Pardon me for that. But the Olympic Games qualifier tournament is this one here. It's the AFCON under 23 and it's set to kick off on the 24th of June as the host to Morocco take on Guinea. It will be an interesting tournament. The Ghana Black Meteors will be looking to make it to the Olympic Games for the first time since 2004 at Athens. That was the last time Ghana played in the Olympic Games. One penalty kick away from making it in 2019 to Tokyo Olympic Games, but it did not happen, unfortunately, for Ghana and Ibrahim Tanko, who is in charge of this team here. He named a provisional list ahead of a pre-match camping, pre-tournament camping in Egypt. And that provisional list included 29 players. Well, uh, now it has been trimmed down. The team selected itself because of uh, issues with players not getting approval from their clubs, players withdrawing because their clubs have not sanctioned them to play in this tournament because it's not a FIFA recognized tournament. So automatically five players are out of this 29 and 24 will travel. Can register 26, 23 will go into the tournament proper. So all these players have been registered because Ebenezer Adai and Emmanuel Ej will be dropped from the Black Meteors squad. Ransford, Iabua and Kamaldin Suleimana also withdrawn from the team earlier. They withdrew from the team earlier. I brought you that story yesterday. Kojo Poku has been absent after his club rejected the FA's letter for him to feature for the Black Meteor. So the team sort of select itself that will trim it down to 24 23 players now who have traveled the fa have not published an official squad list so we are looking forward to that but they arrived in rabat morocco earlier today as they kick off their tournament on sunday ghana will be looking to finish in the top three and that will secure an Olympic sport for them. The delegation for the 2023 AFCON uh, arrived in Rabat where they will be based uh, for their group matches. Uh, the delegation uh, came made up of players, technical team and officials arrived in Rabat on Wednesday evening uh, from Cairo where they have been camping pre-tournament camping that is the team uh, played two friendly matches the 1-1 one draw with Egypt under 23 and a 4-1 victory for Egyptian size Amalek SC in Cairo the Black Meteors who are in group A uh, will face Congo in the opening group match on Sunday uh, 25th of June 2023 at the Prince Mole up the last stadium in Rabat a day after the opening match of the competition between the hosts which is Morocco and Guinea. Ghana will then take on tournament host Morocco in the second match on Tuesday June 27th at the same venue uh, before playing their last round of matches against Guinea at the Grand Start de Tangier. And the two best teams from Group A and B will advance to the semi-final stage of the competition. The winner of the tournament and the runners-up will qualify to compete in the 2024 Olympic Games. So the Black Meteors team, as you can see and saw them in that picture slide there, they are in Rabat, Morocco. The players are ready for action. It will be an interesting tournament and you can be sure we'll be bringing you updates on it as and when it happens. Uh, Ghana's first game is on the 25th of June at 3 p.m. GMT. The Ghana Black Meteors, the Ghana under 23 side. They will be hoping uh, to get off to the best possible starts. The second game against the host. Uh, might be quite tough so they would want to capitalize entirely on that first game to give them momentum 
and then the final game versus uh, Guinea uh, will wrap things up for them. We wish the Black Meteors the very best. We hope that they do get the job done and get over the line. And Esnoama, uh, who is one of the players going into this tournament, uh, has been nominated for the Golden Ball Awards after a blistering season. The Ghana Black Stars debutant on Sunday uh, was nominated, one of the nominees uh, for that Golden Boy Award, a prestigious award for the young talent in and around every corner of the world. We're great to have two Ghanaians actually in there. Noama was the one who in this under 23 team has been nominated for that. We wish them all uh, the very best and uh, we hope they get closer to it. Kudus has been in this position before, Kamal Dean as well. And uh, it will be an interesting tournament. And uh, the schedule for the tournament itself has been brought out by CAF, as you can see on your screen. It will be interesting to see how Ghana do. Group B has Egypt, Mali, Gabon, Niger, Morocco, uh, Ghana, Congo, Guinea make up Group A. So that is it there. You can see quite clearly the match schedule there. It's in uh, Rabat, Moroccan time, uh, 3 p.m. for Ghana's first game. Uh, for Ghana's second game, it will be at 5, uh, sorry, it will be at uh, 8 p.m. GMT. Uh, this time's at Rabat, Morocco time. And for the final game for Ghana, it will be at 8 p.m. GMT. It's concurrently played with the Congo uh, versus Morocco one there egypt as well so as it is there they'll be paired into the semi-final and then the third place match and uh, the finalists will be guaranteed automatic spots in the olympic games as uh, three teams will automatically qualify a third team i'm sure will have to play a playoff position game i'm not sure about that but i think there's something like that uh, that will determine that we don't want to get it to that position uh, top three will guarantee us final will surely guarantee us a uh, position at paris 2024 olympic games we wish the boys uh, the all the best uh, heading into this competition uh, we hope they do well and uh, bring back the trophy hopefully it will not be easy egypt morocco mali and co uh, will want to get there and we'll be hungrier we have to prove that we want it more this time out 2019 was unfortunate hope tanko and the boys have learned a thing or two from four years ago your thoughts in the comments box uh, predictions for ghana in this tournament how you think it will end for the black meteors let me know what you think i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy the rest of your week <music>